So I know the Chief's going to talk a little bit more about this in a second, but as, as everybody behind me knows, and some of you at home maybe know as well, uh, we've really tried to stay on top of making sure that we have uh, good equipment about nine years ago. Uh, when I was actually running for office the first time, I came out to, to the station here, and at that time, uh, the pump truck uh, was sitting in the, where the ladder truck is right now, and it was leaking. And I didn't know anything about it really, so I asked the guys, I go, so what happened? You guys get back from a run or something? And they go, no, it just leaks all the time. And I was like, well, what do you do about that when you need, when you need it? You know, and they were talking, talk, explaining to me how they keep it filled with water and so forth. So it was always in my mind that that was one of the first trucks I wanted to do something with. And when uh, Chief Cravens uh, agreed to come back in and step in as chief, him and his team, we talked about it. So they started making arrangements to make sure that we could put together the money that we needed to replace that truck, and we did. And so come forward now about eight and a half, nine years where we stand again, and guess what? We're getting ready to replace that truck again. So, But it does show our commitment of making sure that uh, our firefighters have all the good equipment that they need. And we have been able, fortunately, uh, and a lot of it, again, goes back to the fire department itself and all the hard work they do and the great work the paramedics do and making sure that, that our folks are safe. But at the same time, of course, we're able to, to collect users' fees. And oftentimes that comes through the, through the federal government. And uh, they've been very uh, proactive in making sure that we collect all the money we need. For example, a few years ago, we were able to collect enough money and back charges that hadn't been pursued uh, to be able to re refurbish the entire uh, fire station number one. So we continue to try to be creative on how we have the resources to make sure that we have good equipment, not just for the firefighters to wear, to keep them protected when they're fighting fires or going in on paramedic runs, but also having good quality equipment. So we're proud to be here today to, to welcome this, this new piece of equipment to the station, and we look forward to the, to the ceremony that sort of honors that uh, tradition. So again, for all the firefighters and firewomen that we have here uh, and the paramedics, all the hard work they do, thank you so very much. Uh, Anderson's so fortunate to have such a great team of, of folks. So, Chief, I'll give it back to you now. Sure. I just wanted to stay how important the Engine 8 is to the community, serving the south side of the community, serving all the commercial properties. They do over 2,000 runs a year. We provide fire suppression in advance, basic life support, hazmat, and extraction. So this is an extremely part of our, our team and very important to us. We also have the paramedics. We had our first paramedic in 1987. This station was built constructed in 1969, opened up in 1970, and then we had our first arson investigator in 1980. So there's a long history and tradition with the Anderson Fire Department, and Station 8 has been a long tradition of that. And so I'm so proud of our guys and our team, and I thank everybody for all their participation in the service and their sacrifice they make for their families to be here in service to the community. So at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Captain Cox to start to wet down and, and push in. Mm -hmm. 